this is going to be our last year at base camp. And look at that sky. It's going to turn pretty stormy here. So we are planning on getting on the road here in just a few hours. Like a bird on a tree. All right, guys, we are almost out of here uh, from Aja's property, base camp. Scotty's getting ready to do a tug test and we will be getting on the road. So, uh, gonna say goodbye to the rest of our friends that are staying, and then that will be it for the season. Pumpkin's all ready to go. You ready to travel? Ready? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the safest place for her. Scotty's already checked up in the uh, little covers up there on the slides. As soon as he does the tug test, then I'll go in and pull in the slides. You always want to do that. We uh, saw a fifth wheel where they did not do that and the fifth wheel came off the back end of the truck. Luckily they were in a parking lot and not on the road. I love you guys. I love you. We miss you. Come back soon. Bye baby. Bye. Bye. Okay, don't get any Whoa, whoa, uh-oh. What are you doing? Scout, what you she says it's so exciting. She wants so to go exciting, but like sad. I know. I hope that you guys get out and uh, come join us at some point. Yeah, we might. You know, it's okay. really cold here. You know, we might get bored. I know. Uh, I'm kind of jealous you guys are going to have snow and we can't see it. True. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get as much as last year. Last year we got yep. 12 snowstorms. So. Well, maybe we'll come back and hang out in the snow. Yeah. Hopefully we can uh, get down the road and get past the high winds that are coming in in about an hour. We've got a pretty good chance of it. Jeff's over here checking his uh, fluids probably. Radius stain. Hi, Bill. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, baby. You ready to go travel too? Pumpkin is. Pumpkin's ready to travel. How about you, Moo? How about you? You ready to travel too? It's travel day. Travel day, girls. Oh, it's been a lot of fun out here. Oz? I don't know where Oz is, but she's probably getting ready to. You ready to travel? Yeah, we're just travel trying day. to find the net. <laughs> I see two of them standing right here. There's a net. There's a net. There's a net. <laughs> For what? It's dead. Uh, the breaker, we, I don't know. Just, oh, no. We were working with it. It's just, it's just gone. It just we're, went. One nut on and we're done. I bet it's in your teddy. Hold on. Oh, there, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come in and help. Okay. We've got one more thing to do. Pull in the slides and then we're done. I was just telling uh, Sue out there, when you... Get ready to go. It's kind of chaotic for the la first <laughs> half hour of trying to get everything up. And then you got to kind of stop, take a breather, walk around, make sure you've double checked everything. Because if you don't, you're going to have some kind of a catastrophe. You ready to pull the slides in? Yeah, let me get over that side. Okay. And next season, that's where we're going to be. That will be a nice area. Uh, the first year we were here, I cleaned that area out over there, so it'll be nice to move back there and have a garden in this area. Up! Good girl, stay. Coming in! Uh-oh. <laughs> Pumpkin just decided to change spots. She does this, and she knows to do it before it starts moving. <laughs> she likes that spot better. You like that ride, don't ya? All right, we're all in. Come on, let's go. Rock and roll time. All right, we are loaded up. Everything's secure the best we can with this bumpy ride coming up. We'll give it a shake and bake Ooh. on the way out and check it. This is kind of nerve-wracking because that road has gotten a lot worse since we uh, came in the first time. And we haven't taken our rig out since. So, we're going to head out before everybody else. We've got about a 15 minute lead. It's going to take us a lot longer than all these guys. So, uh, let's rock Go and roll. On. I see the gates closed. Guess who gets to get out and get the gate? <laughs> I'll get out and get the gate. 
All right, let's go. Let's get on the road and travel. It's such an exciting day. I love travel day. Hang on just a minute. <laughs> no, you hit our corner just fine. Ah, oh, see you next year, base camp. Lots of fun here. Good friends, good times, for sure. It's only the coldness that's driving us out. Yeah, and thank you to Aja for you, Aja. allowing all of us to always be here. So sweet of her. Bye, Sue. We love you. <laughs> See you later, Ed. Hopefully we can make it out of the wind zone before it hits. So this is the worst part of the road. We can't go through there. It's still way too mucky. Um, and what we have to worry about is the berms here going out because of the um, articulation. Yeah. The pivoting points of everything. Yeah, so if you walk the back end of the trailer, if you're not careful, you will smack the front part of the bed area of the, the trailer into the bed of the truck. So you gotta be okay, real slow, real slow. worried about. I made it. Good job, babe. Good it job. takes two, baby. <laughs> Good job. So these are a couple of the things, you know, that we have to deal with with having a bigger rig, but I'll tell you what, it's so worth it. <laughs> yeah. Some places we can't go with it, but we can yeah. definitely disconnect and go places. We, uh, we don't find very many places we can't go, though. We're pretty adventurous when it comes to, to where we Pushing can take our it. Limits. <laughs> yeah, just a little. <laughs> like when we went down to that camp in uh, New River. Where, New River. <laughs> we had that storm, but that that had said no big. You know, not recommended for big rigs, but we were okay. We've camped up in the Olympics many times where. Uh, they wouldn't recommend be even bringing a... Well, you better slow it down on this one. That's a big, big guy. Where they recommended not taking uh, campers or trailers, and we did fine. But you should always scout your area out. If it says don't bring a certain rig in, always scout it out before you do it, because you don't want to get stuck in a situation where you can't get out or have to back up for an hour. <laughs> yeah, this is the only part I forgot about. Oh, we forgot about this one. I don't know, babe. We're gonna go ahead and go through this way. Missed it by six inches. Ooh, that side. It's just as bad, but uh, that's pretty mucky over there. We have four wheel drive, but you know, when you in the big rig uh, not so easy I'm watching I'm watching you're high on my side until you come down oh 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 what you're about six inches okay. from it yeah I'd go real real slow I think you're gonna make it though oh holy moly okay There's Dave back there coming along. Now he'll just go through the puddles. <laughs> yeah, he's not downhill. That no. might be a scary one there. Well, he came through um, after the big rains, so he was good. All right, well, that's the way we're going. We made it. <laughs> I think Dave took a different uh, road. He probably went out up to the cattle highway, guard. the cattle guard. So this road here is very washboardy. <laughs> uh -oh. 
It's a chore getting uh, out of here from Aja's, but being at Aja's is well worth it. Lots of fun there. Good people. I didn't time it. I, I, it's, I'm sure that was a half an hour. It was a half an hour. We left at Tintel, and it is 9.23 now. We're going to pull over right up here once we get up a little further. Scotty's going to get out, check everything, and I'm going to show you guys something. Nothing broken, nothing bad yet. <laughs> uh, Lordy B. <laughs> Hi there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you are massive. Hi. I won't bother you too much. I just want to show my friends. Oh, he's doing his business. Golly, his head is as huge as a freaking boulder. <laughs> I, uh, Looks like they had a baby white one too. They do have a baby over there. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's the baby. Uh, Mama's protecting. Wow. I've seen them as we're driving by, but I've ne we've never stopped to look. So everything looked okay in there? Looked fabulous. I I think that's the new path in and out. Yeah, thank goodness. We'll say nothing. <laughs> Hi, first stop, Williams, Arizona. The loves. <laughs> the loves. I did want to come over to the museum, but unfortunately it's not open. Yeah, we were going to take you guys over here and show you, but Scotty uh, found out that they are no longer open. All right, so we're all here at the Loves. We're gonna get some diesel. Scotty's already dumped. Aja just showed up. Jeff's behind her. Dave, I think, uh, must have went to wash his rig in Williams. I am gonna wash the windows for you guys and for us. It is bad. Uh, I don't know when we're gonna wash our rig, but it's gotta be done at some point. Ah, that window's so much better. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Well, that's a beautiful view. So the winds have definitely picked up, but we really didn't have a choice. We had to get things done, so just have to see how it goes. 6% grade. How much? 99.9, I think it caps there. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Yeah, that that's some good gas mileage. Ooh, my ears are popping. I forgot we had to go down a big hill to get off the mountain. It'll be nice to get out of the high elevation. Absolutely. I'm glad it's only the elevation is because if it was much more, I don't think I could stay there a whole long, long time. No. Well, elevation usually bugs me, and it used to bug me out there, but it didn't seem to bother me too much this year. That's a good thing. I still don't want to go to Colorado, though. No. <laughs> I'll pass. Buena Vista is beautiful, but over 8,000 feet is not fun for me. No, me neither. Boy, my ears are really popping. 86 minutes to Kingman. So one thing that we have an issue about when uh, we're all... Yeah, I'm certain it was there just before we got on the pavement, because that's when we stuff in your front seat on the passenger side. Oh. So Jeff is talking about we just noticed that Aja's side vent where her refrigerator goes is gone. Scotty noticed it when we were getting on the uh, or coming uh, on the off ramp. Anyways, one of the things we have a problem with when we are in a bigger group is we have a hard time pulling over, stopping and seeing the things that are around us. Um, it's hard to fit everybody into a parking lot. Uh, it's hard to make decisions on the spur of the moment when you're driving down the highway. Luckily, this had a couple entrances, so uh, I made the decision and said, let's turn. <laughs> let's see, Roadkill Cafe, OK Slim, so Historic like Route 66. Area. No, you should, we should go down the strip a little ways, on the, almost to the other end of town. Roger. 
So. I have a feeling that's where the ice cream malt shop is. <laughs> if there's ice cream, Dave will find it. <laughs> so just a little tiny town here, historical. Uh, but yeah, we're. I was telling Scotty. Yeah, you're catching on. <laughs> I was telling Scotty, I want to start stopping. I get kind of frustrated when we uh, just cruise by everything and we don't really stop and see. I mean, that's why we're on the road. Check it out. Sometimes the little towns aren't that big of a thing, but sometimes they are. Oh, look at the Volkswagen. Cool, all the stickers. Oh yeah, this is a cute little town. <laughs> Stopping. Come again. Where are we stopping? Dave said go to the end. Yeah, and this is about the end, so. Yeah, this is the end of the town where it goes up to the other exit, so whatever you want to do, it'll it's a good idea what's in town here anyway. Dirt parking lot there. Um, uh, that, uh, I was thinking, yeah, the place here on the right, the malt shop, or the burger joint, whatever, that's the place that has a bunch of yummy But The Road Trail Cafe, I mean, any of these places are yummy places. That Road Trail Cafe and some other shops are up here on the right. I don't know how much parking's up there, I don't remember. Right, at least street parking. If you know the area, Dave, maybe you should go ahead and we'll follow you. That's that's where I'm Marjorie Riggs. Alright, I'll go up. I've only, I mean, I've been here twice, but I'll go up and see if there's parking up ahead up the uh, cafe. Yeah, and, and you know where the cafe is. I didn't see it when we came in. There is a big parking area, um back a little bit halfway back in back of a store there was a huge parking lot there but uh, you might want to aim for the xbox on the left what do you say for me to do i can't hear you it's all static he said pull into the exxon station on the left roger or oh, wherever you like, that's just the first thing that I hide up for the biggest, the biggest vehicle in the group. That's one spot available. Oh, there's some big tumbleweeds. It looks like the Exxon station is closed anyway. Yeah, they look shut down, don't they, Oz? I don't think this is a real big thing. It's just a facade kind of thing. Uh, I thought you actually went into the buildings, but you don't. Wild buffalo. Yeah, I don't think there's any. The buffalo is wild. It's not here anymore. <laughs> I don't think. I think the buffalo is gone. I'm thinking of this is how I can build my log, my uh, my building. Okay. It's gonna take a while, but I'll. You want to tell them what you're thinking of doing? Build a small shed on Aja's property. Yeah. So Out of the old logs that are uh, all burnt and falling on the ground. Yeah. So if you guys saw the last video where we put the fence up around our little garden, uh, that's where Scotty wants to do a little shed. Uh, yeah. Isn't her. I sort of grew up with one of those. <laughs> Did yours have two sinks like that too? Two sinks? Yeah. I didn't wash my face. <laughs> <laughs> my dad built a garage and we lived in it while he was going to build an actual log cabin and we had an outhouse. <laughs> I'm not I'm not as soft as you think I am. I'm pretty pretty weathered when it comes to uh, these, you know, boondock and, and uh, yeah. 
You just let the buffalo roam and then bring them in here. Oh, I don't know. Well, here's the important part. Let's see. <laughs> nope. Woo! All right, so it's just a fun little um, facade. What is that? Stage, oh, stage, uh, stagecoach schedule. No spitting of tobacco or shooting of buffalo from the stage. Charging them back then. Golly. The airlines were kind of behind things. Right? That's stagecoach, not airlines. I know, but remember now the state, the airlines charge you for a bigger... Oh, that's bag. right. That's right. It only takes 18 hours to get to Keatman. <laughs> On the stagecoach? Yeah. Yeah. Funny thing, 99 years before I was born, right here, guess what happened? Nothing! It's a cowboy. Got a big old hat. <laughs> Cute. Look how they put treads on these back in the day. It was a working machine. Yeah. So it was. Oh, it's okay. Come here. It's all right. Nothing's happened. Nothing was even there. It's okay. So that's what we kind of deal with. But that's okay. You're okay, pumpkin. You're all right. There we go. You want to see too? Come here, I'll pick you up and we'll let you see. You want to see in there? You want to see? There you go. She's got to check it out too. She loves to sightsee. Yeah, you do, huh? But just some old equipment to look at, stop and check out. Oh, I <laughs> got a cactus growing in there. Mm. That's an old cactus. Yeah, an old cop. <laughs> yeah. It had a fender bender. <laughs> um. I don't hill. think you want to sit in the driver's seat. Oh, that's a very pokey one. Yeah. You know what that reminds me? You remember the, um, the old people okay. who have a uh, fountain? Yeah. When we, oh, when yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. yeah, cool. All right, just a lot of old stuff. Fun little stop. Oh, this is what uh, Aja needs on her uh, property. I don't want to move it because it says don't touch other things, so maybe they just don't have a sign on it, but that would be cool. A lot of work, though. <laughs> Scotty's more interested in looking at what's uh, old inside the building here. They do have, like, an old uh, gas pump in here. This would be a great place for a little uh, shop. It's got, like, perfect location. Oh, Suzuki. No, look at that old air cold. Oh. 380. Really? Oh, it did used to be a store in there because it's got yeah. coolers in there. How much was it? 39 cents a gallon. Mm. Oh my gosh. That Back was what in the it was day. I was 11. <laughs> you never know what you're going to find in those old buildings. 39 cents back uh, back in the day when the gas pump was out here. <laughs> we could travel everywhere. We would, we'd we'd have to just break open our piggy banks. At 39 cents <laughs> a gallon each. I know. Alright, we have a destination. We weren't quite sure if we were going to go to Kingman or to Havasu. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to uh, Lake Havasu. Um, we're going to meet some friends there. Colleen and Donnie are there and some other friends are there. And we're going to go shopping there at, you know, my least favorite place. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Well, what, what's a girl to do? Anyways, it is 62 now, but we still have another hour to, well, we have another two hours. Left. Two hours. So we would have had an hour. Now we've got two hours. So we'll see you guys in half. Definitely mine. Yeah, they've got the 
I got shows. my BJ shirt on. Oh, you do. I'm so excited. Yeah. BJ's. That's it's a bar uh, rest slash restaurant, and they've got some pool tables and stuff. But we like to go up there. They usually have some kind of music going on, and we usually do that when we go watch the car shows. Thursday uh, night. Yeah. So that's that's just we love that. And I don't know what else is going on in, going on in Havasu uh, in the next couple of weeks, but hopefully there'll be something fun for us to do. Always something fun to Where do in Havasu. Where are you going, Pumpkin? Where are you going? Pumpkin, come here. I want to tell them something. Come here. Come here. So I forgot to tell you guys, with all the... Uh, trying to get ready to get out of Aja's and uh, <clears throat> everything that we had to do. I forgot to tell you guys, it was our anniversary with Pumpkin. We've had her two years on the 30th and uh, Scotty and I kind of spoiled her a little bit and had a lot of, you know, little fun little talks with her. <laughs> so, when we first picked her up in Yuma, at the shelter, they told me I had three days to bring her back because she had issues, is what they said. So, two years later, here we are. She's never going back anywhere. She is she is ours, so... <laughs> Aww. She's sweet. I love you. I love you. Yes, I do. So, anyway, so fun little fact. Two years we've had her. Huh. You love us as much as we love you? see you guys down the road. If I see anything fun, I'll show you guys. up to Craigie Wash. Lots of our friends are already here and we're gonna relax a little bit tonight. 80 degrees baby. Yeah. It's beautiful. The sun's gonna go down below one of my favorite hills out here. Yeah it's beautiful out yep. here. Got our trailer parked temporarily. We are not gonna park here. We're gonna scout it out, walk around, see where we can get into and what, uh, make sure we have an easy way out. We're just gonna park for the night. Uh, we're tired. <laughs> Wasn't a long day, but we're tired and I was up early this morning. Anyways, I gotta get some shorts on. It's hot. 